Hi there, I am Abhishek Inamdar from Keyframes Animation. Welcome to my new exciting tutorial of Adobe Photoshop of Gold Pedant. I'll show you how to design this gold pedant in Adobe Photoshop in very easy way with two or three steps. I'm very excited to share these techniques with you. So let's get started with the first lesson. I'll start with this new document to file as new and this is fine you can take any size from the web and uh, say cold say okay and uh, i'll just take black fill black color press alt and backspace on my keyboard to fill this black i'll go to custom shapes and uh, you can take any shape you want you can take this shape or this shape any shape you want i'll just take this shape and in this process i don't want shape or pixel i just want only path so if you drag like this you can get this shape but be sure to press shift to get the proportionate shape if you don't press shift the shape will be some around distorted like this it may happens so press shift and drag so it will get a proper proportionate shape now i'll switch to paint tool i'll press p on my keyboard i'll say right click and make selection i'll take layer for this tool and i'll go to filter and i'll say render i'll say clouds so we'll immediately get the clouds and if you want some variation you can go and press control f if you want more variations so generally take some around black some white that is good and i'll go to filter i'll say filter gallery take glass and distort it 20 uh, we don't want any smoothness scaling you can choose and take as per your requirement if you want some very big diamonds so i'll say okay now uh, if you want some brightness don't go to image and levels don't adjust it from there but rather than go to dodge tool it is uh, much more easier and much more faster to get some good interactive results so we can make some bright as diamonds are bright so now we want gold i'll add a layer so so you can see how easy to earn gold from the photoshop i'll go to edit and uh, say stroke and take some golden color say okay you'll get the stroke then go to fx say bevel and emboss um, inner bevel is absolutely fine this structure is absolutely fine just we have to play with the shading and go to gloss contour and say double ring so this is the what we got i'll press ctrl d so this is what the uh, basically idea was and you can add some shine into it i'll say layer i'll press p on my keyboard if you see i have already taken my brush but i'll show you where to take that right click and click on this gear corner take assorted brushes if you uh, if you don't have so much of brushes no problem because assorted brushes is uh, there in by default in photoshop so click assorted brushes say okay you will get number 50 you will locate number 50 brush is there or else you can go to 49 as well there is no something like that. but i have used this brush so i'll increase the size of this brush by pressing the close bracket take white and be sure to take take a layer because if you do like this and you will get something like this result so get different and say you can come down to the size actually and get very good result with the size 
I just press Ctrl Z. I don't want that big sign. Instead of small is very good. Yes. So this was a tutorial uh, to show the basically gold plated uh, and in the diamond, you know, pendant. In that you can do one more thing. You can click select all those things and press Ctrl G. That will be place everything in group. And if you press Ctrl T, you can rotate it as per your requirement and make that 90 degree minus 90. So this can be done and this was a tutorial for it. So if you enjoyed my tutorial, do subscribe my channel that is Keyframes Online. And uh, if you want any kind of tutorial, do let me know. So I'll really make for you. And uh, thanks for watching my tutorial. Always enjoy learning.